Right. What we're going to do is we're going to download the mod list from ESO-UI.com. But first, we have to install Skyrim. So install that wherever the hell you want. And then, once you've downloaded it, you need to browse local files by right-clicking Skyrim and going to properties and then browse local files and it will show you where it is so you need to go back a couple of steps so it should be steam apps common and then it should be in this folder here so what you need to do is you need to add two folders you need to rename the first skyrim special edition downloads and then you need to add the second Skyrim Special Edition mods. And those folders just need to be in that file in that folder with where Skyrim is. Like I have on the screen. Ideally you need to install Skyrim and these folders and all the mods on a solid state drive. I have on screen now a said solid state drive in US dollars. I will link this down below in the description. A better option would have to have it on an M.2 NVMe drive which is also on screen now. This will also be linked down below. These will give you the best load times and just the best gameplay experience. Now, we go to Vortex, we go to Settings, we go to the Mods tab, and we tell the Mods tab where our mods folder is. So we click the little folder icon and then we find where we put the Skyrim mods folder, which is in Steam Library, Steam Apps, Steam Common, and then the mods folder, which is, should be selected. Uh, make sure you reply. Ignore the error message I get. I would just just that's just because I changed the name of the folder, but everything's fine. And then you go to the downloads tab and you do exactly the same thing except with the downloads folder. Make sure you hit apply here as well. And then we go to the website eso-ui.com. We click Skyrim. And then we choose which mod list we want. Normally you would be going for the, the high end list, but make sure you you pay attention to what GPU you need. A 2080 should be able to run the high end. If you do not have a 2080, I suggest you go for the micro. And then we just go scroll down. Revision 5 is what we need. We just click this collection button and it will take us to Nexus Mods where the collection is. We just want to make sure we have Revision 5 currently selected and then we just add that to vortex and then everything should sort itself out you do not need to do anything else you just let this download there are all the mods and then in the collections thing it will show up as the eso ui mod list and that's it it's done 